Kampala Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago says mafias in President Museveni's government are planning to assassinate him this year and the Ugandans should put him in their prayers. The UPDF soldiers are on standby at the Uganda-Congo border as the M23 rebels continue to advance towards the plus 256 and some Ugandans at the border have already started packing their belongings. I'm coming up with the details. And finally, the police officer who tortured Bobby Wine's supporter has been identified. <music> Meanwhile, Hajiluzi Omsomi Wedua is the big man I'm working with on board. And you really want to call him and get those serious issues bothering you sorted as soon as possible. I told you, you have family issues, marriage, basically things are not moving well in your life. Just give him a call and trust me, the rest is history. That number is available 24-7. Give him a call today and you'll be fine. Now, going back to the stories that I have for you this morning, Kampala Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago says mafias in President Museveni's government are planning to assassinate him this year and uh, Ugandans should put him in their prayers. <laughs> This comes after the Minister for Kampala and the Metropolitan Affairs, Horrible Chofa Togabie, in an interview with NTV Uganda, said that the Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago may not finish this year in office unless he apologized to General Salim Saleh. <sighs> So, well, there you go. That is what is coming in from Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago's camp. Now, the Uganda People's Defense Force, UPDF, has heavily deployed its troops at the Uganda-Congo border in Kanungu district as the M23 rebels advance towards Ishasha border. Lieutenant Colonel Kahamia, the commander of the 307 Brigade, told journalists that the UPDF has deployed its forces to protect Ugandans staying along the border and their property, as well as assuring that the international border remains safe despite the armed conflict in the neighboring DRC. The 307 Brigade is deployed in the western districts of Kanungu and Rukunshiri. Many people that side remain in panic. However, the commander asked the border communities to stay calm. A yet-to-be-known number of Ugandans is reported to be among the 21 people killed in a bus accident in the neighboring Kenya over the weekend. It's reported that the accident occurred three kilometers from the Uganda-Kenya border and at least 49 other people were injured seriously and rushed to hospital in critical condition. <laughs> This accident comes after we lost another 18 people in a bus accident that happened last week at Adebe Trading Center along Kampala Gulu Highway. May their souls rest in peace. Now, yesterday I reported that the Minister of ICT and National Guidance, Horrible Dr. Chris Badiomusi, was not doing well in Mulago Hospital. But the latest update I'm getting from his junior minister, Godfrey Kabyanga, he says his condition is getting better and very soon he'll be back on his feet. Minister Dr. Chris Bariomosi also confirmed he's getting better through his Twitter handle yesterday. 
Now, Jeno Muhozi, Kanerugaba's mobilizer, Vincent Chimbugwe, has died. Chimbugwe was killed by yet-to-be-known people over the weekend after arrived at his home safely. But these people, in a phone call, insisted that they wanted to meet him in town at Sheraton Hotel, so he jumped on a border border to meet the strangers, and that is where he met his death. Police says they are still investigating the matter and they'll be giving us more details very soon. May his soul rest in peace. Well, finally, you guys remember the picture of Bobby Wine's supporter that recently circulated on social media after beaten by security officers at Sambia Sharing Hall where the United Forces of Change had gathered for prayers. Now, the officer who beat him, unfortunately, was not identified in the first place and everybody was concerned to know who that officer was. But finally, this officer has been identified as Major Asimwe. He's a field force unit commander or FFU commander and he's 35 years old, residing in Sambia Police Barracks. Major Asimwe is a married man with three children. Other sources have also indicated that Major Asimwe is very hateful towards Bobby Wan's Red Camp National Unity Platform. <music> Well, there you go. That is the latest update I have for you on the Buzz UG. Meanwhile, Hajiluzi Omsomi Wedua is the big man I'm working with on board and you really want to call him and, uh, you know, get those serious issues bothering you sorted as soon as possible. I told you, you have family issues, marriage, basically things are not moving well in your life. Just give him a call and trust me, the rest is history. That number is available 24-7. This is the Buzz UG and uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo aka Fula and it's a bye for now. Thank you. <laughs>